Apple Calendar is a free Get Things Done app by Apple. It's available on macOS, iPadOS, iOS, and watchOS. It also has a decent web version that you can access on Windows and Android. Today's video will focus on the Mac version of the app. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. A lot of you have asked us for courses over the years. We're excited to let you guys know that we're currently working on some free courses on our other channel, Paperless Humans. Make sure you check it out if you want to get more out of different apps. Creating new events is fairly simple in Apple Calendar. We love that you can easily add an event to the exact time slot you want. All the details you need for creating an event are readily available. Location or video call via FaceTime. You can add invitees from your contacts. You can write notes for sharing important details with those attending the event. You can also add web links. And you can also add attachments. Apple Calendar doesn't limit the size of attachments you add to your events. It just uses up your iCloud Drive storage. The biggest file we managed to add was 2 gigabytes and more than 10 different types of attachments to a single event. Deleting attachments is not fun though. We should have the option to select and delete multiple attachments at once. Every event you create in Apple Calendar will have a start date and or time, as well as an end date and or end time. It helps to know how long an event will last. At least that way, you can plan for the rest of the day. We especially love that the app can also take into account your travel time and add it to your calendar. With travel time and alerts, what are the chances you're going to miss an event you actually want to attend? It's fascinating that Apple Calendar lets you add alerts after the event. Has anyone found that useful? Do tell. Repeating events are easy to set up. The custom repeat supports daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly repeats, all with impressive options. Natural language support lets you create simple events with just a few sentences. You can also create events from other apps like Apple Notes and messages using data detection. We love it. If you don't mind using Siri, that's another way to create events without even typing anything. If you love having everything in one place, you will love how you can create many calendars in Apple Calendar. You can have a calendar for work, family, and school. And share those calendars with different people. You can even give them different permissions as to what they can do in the calendars you're collaborating in. You can also create public calendars that anyone with the link can subscribe to. Only God knows why you'd want to do that. This feature doesn't have any practical applications we can think of. You can subscribe to other people's calendars yourself. Again, that's not something I personally understand. Subscribing to a holiday calendar makes sense. 
You can plan your events and meetings considering the holidays in your calendar. In Apple Calendar, you can add third-party calendars like Google Calendar, Microsoft Exchange, etc. to manage all your events in one place. It makes life a lot easier. Every calendar in your app can have a unique color to differentiate it from others. This also makes the app beautiful. When the different calendars get overwhelming, you can hide some of them. And if that's not enough, if you're more minimalist like me, you can merge two calendars so that you have fewer calendars to deal with. Apple Calendar is a minimalist app with a left sidebar for navigating your calendars and dates, as well as your calendar itself on the right side of the screen. You can switch between different calendar views to understand what your schedule looks like for the day, for the week, or month. The app searches through your events and you can refine your search to focus on location, title, attendees, notes, and calendars. You will love how you can search through specific items in your calendar, it helps to find events faster. Apple Calendar has three widgets, one that shows your upcoming events, another which tracks the day of the month, and the last one feels like the first one, only presented differently. Who else loves widgets? Apple Calendar is a decent calendar app with hardly any outstanding features. And it also doesn't have annoying features as well. It works and perhaps that's all that matters. Let us know what you think about Apple Calendar in the comment section down below. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, make sure you check out our courses from Paperless Humans if you want to get more out of your applications. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.